Hello everybody, welcome back to Tom Tries. I'm your host, Tom, and today we go to the second story of our Night of the Zealot, The Midnight Masks. So if you missed part one, I definitely recommend you go check that out first. But if you're ready to go, here we go. Let's see, uh, Midnight Mask, check campaign log if Lita was forced. No, we, uh, we didn't have that, so we go to intro two. In the wake of the disaster at your home, Lita Chandler, the red-haired woman from your parlor, lays out on a uh, lays out a tale that, even in light of what you just witnessed, strains the limits of your belief. Creatures in your home, she claims, are called ghouls, cruel beings who plague the crypts, caverns, and tunnels beneath the city of Arkham. These creatures feed on the corpses of humans. They are served by a dark cult within Arkham whose members have inexplicably come to worship the ancient master of the ghouls. This cult has been killing innocent people and feeding them to the ghouls, satiating, satiating a monstrous hunger. A dark balance was maintained. Until now, recently, Lita continues, one of their lairs where the corpses were stored was destroyed. Since then, the ghouls have been more active than usual. I've tracked their movements and tried my best to stop them from running amok throughout the city. But I think there's something worse going on. The cult has been planning something darker and more ominous than anything I have observed. Indications are that this plan shall come to fruition tonight, shortly after midnight. Beyond that, I cannot fathom what to expect. Many of the cultists, Lita continues, will seem like everyday people despite their foul intentions. Whenever the cult meets, its members don masks shaped like skulls of various animals to protect their identities from one another. These masks are our mark, symbols of death and decay. We must unmask the cultists to expose and derail their plans. We have but a few hours. The more cultists we find before midnight, the better. So on the setup, uh, we've gathered and mixed up the appropriate cards. We have the Cult of Immortal encounter uh, set aside in a separate cultist deck. Uh, we'll uh, get to how that's used here in a little bit. We've, cho uh, we've chosen randomly one of two uh, downtown and south side cards. The other one I just kind of have tucked away under here. For one player, we don't have to make any changes. Uh, we check the campaign log if our house is still standing, which it is. Each player begins play at your house. Um, the ghoul priest is not still alive, so we don't have to deal with that. So we've got our setup here. And uh, let's... Let's take a look at what's going on. Let's go agenda first. Predator or prey? Lita seems convinced of a conspiracy within the city of Arkham. She believes that a secret cult serves the ghouls that live in the crypts beneath the city, but several of the cult's prominent members are scattered throughout Arkham. You begin searching for them. You can't shake the feeling that you, too, are being hunted. We do have a resign option. You don't want to risk taking too long, so you head to safety with the information you gathered. This boils over at a six. And for us, we only have one thing we're uh, working on in this act. Uncovering the conspiracy. You have one night to find the members of this cult and unveil their plans. The more members of the cult you can find and interrogate before midnight, the better. To do that, investigators spend two clues per investigator as a group. Draw the top card of the cultist deck. So our objective, find as many unique cultist enemies as you can and add them to the victory display. There are six unique cultist enemies in the victory display. Advance. Not all six of them are in the cultist deck, so we're gonna we're gonna have to see what we can do. Uh, we've got our opening hand of cards. We've got uh, evidence. We've got the dodge, which was great last time. Oh, we've got uh, paranoia right away. And I think if we draw that in the opening, we reshuffle. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think we can do that in the opening hand. If not, eh, no, I'll, I'll take a mulligan. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm only playing single player. So I'll, I'll, I'll house rule it anyway. Uh, and the beat cop, uh, which we actually upgraded using our points. And it has a cost of four, so he's uh, he's a little pricey. The plus side of having him out, we get plus one uh, fight for having uh, him out and available. So we are up at your house. Despite what happened, you couldn't bring yourself to destroy your home. And your house forced when the ghoul priest spawns, spawn it here instead of at its normal location. We actually don't have to worry about that. For an action, we can draw one card and gain one resource, limit once per turn. This has a shroud value of two and 
It spawns with one clue. All right. So that's uh, that's what we can do. All right. So a shroud value of two. We have a lore of three. I, th I still think our first action is I'm going to spend the four resources to grab the beat cop. So that's our first. This is a uh, plan after you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location with our evidence. Dodge, as we learned in the last one's fantastic. We also have vicious blow. If the skill test is successful during an attack, the attack deals one damage uh, and another skill, the manual dexterity. If this test is successful, draw one card. Nothing else that we want to get out. So that was our first action. I think our second, we'll actually take advantage of the house action to draw a card and grab a resource. And part of me thinks we need to like hurry up and get into town and start exploring. The house is connected directly to river town, but a part of me also wants to get our resources back up first. Should we maybe just try to get this clue first? Maybe wait and see if we get an enemy to spawn. Hmm, that's rough. Um, if we do this, we get three more resources, but I, I don't have anything here that I really want to spend it on. So I think we'll take our last action. Oh, should we get this? Should we try to just get this clue? Just get this out of the way? Yeah, that's that's probably not a bad idea. Do I have anything I can spend on this? I don't play after you defeat an enemy. That does that would give me uh, two more on the evidence, but I actually really like holding this for a fight. So oh, it's a three. I need to beat a two. So as long as we don't do too terrible, we got a minus one putting us at a two. So we do gain the clue that goes back into our little uh, bag of tokens that will wrap up our turn. There is no enemies. We reset actions, which we did. All exhausted cards come back into play. Each investigator draws a card and gains one resource. Ooh, we got our 45 automatic. Lost a four though, and we only have three. But it is good. It is very good for us. And we still have uh, the card, uh, the emergency cash to get us three more. So we might, uh, we might end up getting this uh, fairly early. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're not above our limit. Now we go to the mythos. One of six doom placed onto here. And what do we get? Ooh, locked door, treachery. Attach the location with the most clues and without a locked door attach. The attached location cannot be investigated. So right now, none of them have anything locked. This, uh, the attached location cannot be investigated. So here's what we're doing. We're just gonna put it on our house. Cause it's a tie. So I would assume we would do it on the one with the uh, the current investigators. It's a good thing that uh, we uh, got that clue instead of waiting for a monster. So we uh, test might to try to break down the door or we can do agility to pick the locks. Ooh, a little, a little rough if I do say so myself. Um, so it's back to our turn. Our first action is gonna be to move into Rivertown it is the banks of the Miskatonic River are lined with docks, warehouses, and small shops in a district aptly named Rivertown. It's going to get one clue. There's something unsettling about the water of Miskatonic River tonight. It ripples and bubbles as though something is moving beneath the surface. Hmm. All right, so let's get one clue onto that. It has a shroud level of one. We have a lower three. I almost feel like we should just go straight after it. Um, all right. Yeah, let's do this. So draw, we got a might, we got a minus one again, but still good enough for the, uh, to beat a one. We've got our two and we could for an action, spend two clues per investigator as a group, draw the top card of the cultist deck. I don't want it to attack right away. And we're, we're gonna have to do it at some point anyway. Um, I think our last item on this, ah, we do have dodge, so we could just get it out of the way and dodge him. Wouldn't be terrible. Hmm. No, no, let's wait. Cause then if we try to move somewhere, resolve this, we can uh, maybe try to get a clue off of defeating the cultist. 
at least uh, my uh, brainy idea. I think our last action is going to be, I'm gonna use the emergency cash here to gain three resources. Perfect. Uh, Cause then this way we can try to maybe get a 45 automatic out. It's my thought. All right, uh, end of our turn, we'd flip that over. Uh, there's no enemies, that's why I'm skipping it. As that goes back, we ready all exhausted cards. There are none that are currently exhausted for us. Each investigator draws a card and a resource. We got our other manual dexterity. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are not above that threshold. Let's get a doom token as we move up to the mythos phase. Uh, that goes over at a six. And we got, oh, a false lead. Revelation, if you have no clues, false lead gains surge. If you have one or more clues, test lore. Ooh, for each point you fail by, place one of your lo uh, clues at your location. Ouch. Um, so I need to beat a four. <sighs> Do I just use this so we don't have to get rid of them? Well, maybe not get rid of them. I feel like we definitely want to hold on to them. So, all right, let's use our evidence uh, to... Uh, so we're going to discard it to get our two extra lore, putting us at a five. Let's see how we do. Oh, a minus four. Yikes. All right. Well, the downside, the card was wasted. And both of our clues are coming on to Rivertown. That's, that's a bit rough. Good job, false lead. Didn't really uh, do us any favors there. So, goes to our turn. I can't even do uh, what we were planning on doing here a second ago. Oh, that's rough. That's really rough. Um, should we just try to go for it? Should I move somewhere else? Maybe try to get something to spawn? Yeah, so we're gonna take Rivertown to downtown. No, you don't have a connection from there, do you? I can do Rivertown to East Town and then to downtown. So yeah, let's go Rivertown to East Town. So I'm using this little uh, crescent moon symbol down here to go to here. The East Town neighborhood situated on the northern banks of the Miskatonic River contains lower class housing, the Arkham Police Station, and popular eateries like Velma's Diner. And finding it, while you are in East Town, reduce the cost of each ally asset you play by two. This would have been good before we played the beat cap. Uh, and it does spawn a clue. And we can only have one ally out anyway. That was our first was going over to here. I think our second, should I just try to grab the clue? Should I play our 45? Hmm. Yeah, my second action, I'm gonna play the 45. And go one, two, uh, so one, two, three, four. This uses four ammo, so I'm just gonna spend them right here. And our 45, you get plus one for this attack. This attack deals plus one damage. Oh. And then what does it take? It takes two. Oh, I should have grabbed that while that still had a one. Oh, I didn't even consider that. Um, Should I just move over to downtown, see what happens? Should I try to grab it? Yeah, well, yeah, because if we lose more than one, we're not going to pick it up. Hmm. This is, uh, this is tricky. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's try it. We're, uh, we're going to try to actually, let's, let's just move back to Rivertown and try to pick that up. I, th I think we just made a big mistake is all we did. So we'll try to pick those up on the next turn. Uh, oh, this, that's not good. So, uh, we'd flip that over enemy phase. Uh, we now moved to upkeep phase. So we flip that back over. We ready all exhausted cards, gain one resource, gain one card. Ooh, Dr. Milan Christopher, professor of entomology. Plus one lore, he would be real good for us. Uh, after you successfully investigate, gain one resource. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually real nice. Oh, I like the beat cap, but I mean, we're already pretty, pretty strong. We definitely need, uh, we need some investigation. So we'll, uh, we'll have to debate. And if we, uh, go back to East Town at some point, we can actually get him for two less. So let's go, uh, to the mythos phase. 
And that's at three of six. And we've got Hunting Shadow, Peril. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, you must either choose one. It is spend one clue or take two damage. Well, I know what we're doing. How does Peril work? 16. Peril, while resolving the drawing of an encounter card with the Peril keyword, investigator cannot confer with the other players. Oh, so I uh, apparently can't talk to myself. So I'm um, sorry, me. I'm just taking the two damage. I don't have a clue to sacrifice anyway, so that doesn't really make a lick of difference in all honesty. So back to our turn. I am going to investigate. I'm at a three. I need to be to one, which I do for the first. So that's one for our second action. Give this another one. Plus one. We go up to a four, which is good enough to pull this off. We got two right in front of us. Oh, I'm at, I got that same issue as we had before. If I don't necessarily want to grab the cultist right now, but we're already halfway uh, through this first day and we don't have anything in front of us, but I don't want to just take free damage. Oh, I hate the fact that that is a cost to do that. Hmm. All right, so do we maybe just move to another location? Yeah, so let's... um. We go to yeah we can go miskatonic from here so our last one is uh we're gonna move to miskatonic university one of the most prestigious colleges in the northeast the university library is famous for its collection of occult books maintained by the esteemed dr henry armitage what do we have here miskatonic university search the top six card of your deck for a tome or spell card and add it to your hand shuffle your deck that is for an action we get two clues put onto here. It is worth one victory at the end of the game. But I got shroud level of four, which not really good for us. So we've taken all three of our actions. We'd flip this over. No enemies are currently out. So let's do this, flip this. Ooh, magnifying glass. And this is another one that we upgraded. Uh, fast, you get plus one while investigating. If there are no clues in your location, return magnifying glass to your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're golden on that front. This is getting number four put on and an encounter. Mysterious chanting, revelation. Place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in place, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. All right, so, well, I'll just grab the one that was right on the bottom. It does get two. The good news is uh, we're already past the check. Otherwise, that would have set us off to the second half. Because right now, we would have advanced the agenda if the dream threshold is satisfied. But that was after do this. So there are no cultist enemies in play. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy deck. Shuffle the encounter deck. So, it doesn't say to put the Doom onto him. So I'm going to take that as uh, we don't have to put the Doom onto him. It does say put on the nearest cultist if there are none. It doesn't say to place, because uh, it says to do the whole draw thing, but not place it on. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of take it as is. All right, that's, uh, that's going to do that phase. It's over to us, and I am going to... Oh, ooh. Hold up. It gets one doom placed onto it. It was only a small sacrifice. After Acolyte Inch's play, place one doom upon it. Oh, uh, it's at five. Uh, the, the, the next time it gains doom, we are in trouble. But luckily it has one health. We currently have a punch of five. We could make it a six uh, if we use the 45 automatic. Hmm. So... Exhaust beat cop and deal one damage to it. Deal one damage to an enemy at your location. Yeah, we'll just, we'll do that. It's a freebie. So we exhaust beat cop, deal one damage. Which takes this acolyte enemy out and we'll put this uh, over in our display. 
And after we defeated an enemy, we can discover a clue at our location. I will go ahead and do that. We're still at nada. So uh, go team. So uh, let's actually, yes, yeah, spend the two. Draw the top. We got Herman Collins, humanoid cultist, spawns at the graveyard. Okay. Cho uh, choose and discard four cards from your hand. Parlay, add Herman Collins to the victory display. Ooh, so if we discard four cards from our hand, we can add them to our display. Oh, he is sitting at the graveyard. And I can't get there from Miskatonic, I'm afraid. Where can I get there from? Eh, if I go to Rivertown. So that was, so we've attacked, for, um, the attack was free. We spawned Herman in for one. Uh, I could get straight there. He would engage with us though. Hmm, let's see. What do we have? Um, we've got dexterity galore. We could... Yeah, it'd be a 4-4. Four, four. Doesn't really help us a ton. Can I get to East Town from here? No. Where can I get to? Uh, we can get to North Side. We can get to St. Mary's Hospital. We can get to South Side. So, I think for 2 we're going South Side. See what we get. Uh, for an action, draw three cards. Limit once per game. One clue put onto it. That was our second. You know, it's a three. I'm at three. I could make it a four, five if I really want to. Yeah, let's do that. So we got four, five. Try to go for this. Minus one, dropping us back to a four. So we are golden. We'll pick up that clue. Will go away. There are uh, no clues on your location. Return magnifying glass to my hand. We'll pick that right back up. Definitely why I wanted to get that. Um. So we moved, flipped. A two. Have we not done a third thing? Oh no no we uh, we summoned uh, Herman. So we, yeah, we, um, that was free. We summoned, we moved, we, uh, investigated. So we're, uh, we're set. So let us go ahead and ready everything back up. Because, uh, so enemy phase. He spawns here. He doesn't have hunter, so he will end up staying put. Uh, and we definitely want to try to get there ASAP, but I can't get there from here. Um, all right. So we go to... Grab a new resource. We draw a card. I'll check to see how we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're still golden. Uh, and we go to the mythos phase. It is at five of six. One, two, three, four, five. The next turn. That's that's not going to be good for us. And the encounter. Acolyte spawn any empty location. Uh, after uh, interest play, place one doom on it. Um, well, we can put it back onto Miskatonic. Because I think that's where we're going next. Actually, where can, where can we get to from here? We can go Miskatonic. We can go to St. Mary's. We can go to Rivertown from here. So let's put them on. Uh, so yeah, let's put them on St. Mary's for the spawn. So it is at six now, but it's after the check. So go, uh, go team. Oh, I really would rather take out Herman if we could help it. Uh, play comes back to us. We are going to move to St. Mary's for one. This gets flipped. It's going to get one of these. We can heal three damage limit once per game here. That is going to probably put the Acolyte on top of us. He has a fight of three. We have a fight of five currently. Part of me just wants to punch him for our second action. Yeah, so let's just punch him. So we're at five or for free. Let us have the beat cop just smack him. It's not 100% free because it does cost us uh, one more uh, health onto the beat cop. Oh, we couldn't 
And we could heal for an action. I want to be terrible, because this has been a very good power for us. Um, but I think instead, so for our second action, we're going to spend the two. Spawn a cultist. Spawns downtown as Wolfman Drew. Uh, when Wolfman Drew attacks, heal one damage from him. Ooh, he's got four health. Goes downtown. All right. A little rough. So that was one, two. I almost want to say for our third action, I might just heal our buddy here, the beat cop. Oh, or we could resign. So I don't know what's on the back of that card. Yeah, all right, we'll risk it. We'll risk it, see what happens. Um, That will wrap up our turn. He gets healed and flip. We've already done the once per game onto here. Um, None of the enemies have Hunter on them, so they will not move. We go to the upkeep phase where we draw resource. We draw a card. We got uh, a knife. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we go to the doom. So, that's going to put six on it. Go ahead and get rid of those. Let's see what we got going on. Oh. Spawn, engage with prey. Oh, God, he comes straight on to us. Most clues, and he's a hunter. The mask hunter gets plus two health per investigator. While you are engaged with the mask hunter, you cannot discover or spend clue tokens. The plus side, he is a cultist. Let's take a look at the back of this. The minutes pass quickly as your investigation continues. And we could resign. You don't want to risk taking too long, so you head to safety. Hmm. All right. We do have, a, we do have the option to quit out. Um... We now need to draw our encounter. False lead, if you have no clues, false lead gains surge. Yeah, we don't have any. Wizard of the Order, spawn in any empty location. Ooh, another cultist though. At the end of the mythos phase, place one doom on the Wizard of the Order. So he's gonna go to... Um... Let's see, where would be a decent place to put him? Not empty, not empty. We still haven't checked on north side. All right, you're going to north side. That works. Uh, at the end of the mythos phase, he does pick up a doom. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play comes back to us. Well, we definitely need to uh, do some damage here. So, because we have the mass hunter on top of us, he has six health, which is really rough. Um, so right now he has a fight of two. We have a fight of four, five. He could, we could make it a six with this, because I can't equip stuff. Does this fight evade or activate parlay or resign ability? Let's see if skill test is successful during this attack. Deal one extra damage. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to hit him hard. So we have four, five, six with this. Uh, six, seven versus a four. Minus one, enough to hit. We deal one damage for us, two damage for the 45 automatic, three damage for the vicious blow. And uh, I, I might as well not even put it on. Oh no, actually I do need to put it on. So, uh, he has six health. Vicious blow goes there. He has a three, because I, I was gonna exhaust the beat cop, hit him to four to the four. So that's our first, we've attacked him once. I think we're just gonna have to do it again. Four, five, make it a six versus four see how we do six versus four four versus four because that's minus two which is enough to deal damage so we're gonna do one damage for us one damage for the 45 putting that to five damage we'll use the beat cops one 
for free. Exhaust beat cop deal one damage to deal one damage to the enemy at our location. That gives us the mass hunter out of the way and one action left. Ooh, what do we do? Uh, part of me wants to move. Uh, right now we have two of six cultists in our victory pile. We could equip a few things. Ooh, but we also want to hold on to four cards for the uh, the Herman Collins, I think. So we're at St. Mary's Hospital. We can move to Miskatonic. We could move to Southside. That's our, the only two places we can move to. Can, how do we get to the graveyard? Graveyard is adjacent to Rivertown, and I think that's about it. All right, that's a little rough. So maybe we investigate? No, 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 we'll just, I think we'll straight up move. We go one to here. Oh, this is, oh, we can actually, oh, we can actually get to north side from Miskatonic. So let's go Miskatonic. That'll be our last action. Uh, the end of return enemies move. No one is a hunter, which is nice for us. Uh, he spawns any empty. Yeah, and we actually want to take care of him fairly quick. Okay. This kind of works. Um, so no enemies currently attack because none of them move. None of them has the hunter keyword. It does have retaliate. Ooh, that's, that's always a little scary. Um, so enemy phase is skipped. We come to ours. We re-ready everything up. We grab a card. We got, ooh, emergency cash is back. Take that. Uh, we now run to the mythos phase. This gets a doom. We might as well get that onto him a little bit early so we don't forget. And let's do our encounter. Obscuring fog. At your location limit one per uh, location. After attached location successfully investigated, discard obscuring fog. This attached location gets plus two shroud. Right now, that's at a six. I don't think we're going near that. That's just me. The end of the Mythos phase is where this Wizard of the Order would pick up another Doom. We're at three. It was at two, not at the eight to take us over. It's our go. Uh, we are going to straight up move up to here, which I do believe gets us uh, the Wizard of the Order for stepping onto here. Let's check north side. Spend five resources, gain two clues from the token pool. Group limit once per game. And it spawns with two. So we move for one. And I do think we are going to try to smack this guy for our second action. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so we are at a four, five versus a four. So let's make it a six this six first four he has two health he has retaliate so this could be a little rough minus one that's gonna be enough to hit him and with our plus one damage enough to kill the wizard of the order we'll get rid of his doom we have our three of six sitting over here good for us um we spend five resources so we've moved we've attacked one two three four five if i do this it's going to get us two clues instantly and two tokens from the uh token pool yeah so two clues i'll go ahead and do that because that way we can spawn somebody else in on the next if we do so wish let me get to we can go Oh yeah, we can get uh, Wolfman Drew on this, uh, on the next one. So that kind of works out for us. End of our turn. No one has Hunter on it. Go us. We now go to the resolution phase. Everyone's back up and ready. We get a resource and a card. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The research librarian's back. Mythos phase. It's now at two of eight. And an encounter. Oh, obscuring, oh, obscuring fog again. 
is rough because this uh, th this area had a three which just matched us but, oh well what can you do all right um play comes to us i'm gonna spend the two to bring in a cultist spawned to miskatonic university peter warren and two clues parlay at peter warren to the victory display interesting i don't have the two clues to do it it doesn't help us a ton so that was our one for two we're gonna move to downtown we haven't flipped downtown yet go check it out gain three resources limit once per game so for two we're moving here to say hello to wolfman drew uh when wolfman drew attacks heal one damage from him yeah all right well we've only got one attack available and we could just try to hit him as hard as we can real quick so we could beat cop to get one damage on to him and try to get two more um yeah i think that's what we're gonna do Ooh, he kind of hits hard all right so we're gonna do the beat cop we get one damage onto an enemy this uh gets exhausted we are then going to uh make the attack because once again we got to do that for free um oh i also forgot when we defeated wizard of the order we could discover one clue at our location as limit once per round so we're gonna actually go ahead and do that uh so we're gonna attack so we're at a four or five spend this which is gonna be our last one to bring us to a six see how we do six first four Ooh, what happens let's see if you fail so uh so six minus three we do fail place one of your clues on the location that's rough he doesn't have retaliate thank good <laughs> thank goodness Ooh, but we don't deal damage all right uh that's gonna do it for our turn i'm afraid wolfman drew is going to attack and we are going to play the dodge play when enemy attacks at a location to cancel the attack sorry wolfman tough day for you friend uh no one's a hunter so we're good on that we ready back up back on the upkeep phase we'll gain our one draw our card we got medical text in hand one two three four five six seven eight on the nose i have to start discarding here soon uh we go to the mythos that gets one still not enough to put it over we draw the hunting night gaunt Hunter, while attempting to evade Hunting Night Gaunt, double the negative modifier of each revealed chaos token. Oh boy. That's, uh, that's not pretty. Okay. Hello, new friend. Monster Night Ghost. Oof. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, we, uh, we need to do some damage here. Uh, I really want to equip a knife. But sadly, it's fight, evade are the only things I can do without a retaliation. And if they had to, uh, right now, if they retaliate, he's going to heal. Oh, do I have anything that gives me bonus damage right now? Oh, this is, this is a little rough. No, I don't, but uh, we do have some fist at least try to make sure we do this so i think all right we are going to uh we're gonna fight so we're at a four five six seven i'm gonna go a little all out here that's a seven versus four definitely enough to deal some damage sadly only one point of damage all right that was our first our second um what do we want to do oh we could just attack again i don't think i have anything else in hand to attack with i do not 
So I'm at a four, five versus a four. Skull X as the highest number of doom on a cultist enemy in play, which is none, which is going to be enough for the third on to him. We are also going to sacrifice the beat cop to use his last ability, which would be enough to take out Wolfman Drew. So I got four of six sitting over here. It was pretty nice. Uh, so that was still our second action. Third. Man, I, d I don't have much agility. Mm, so I could do one. So I can, so I'd be at a four. I could be at a five to try to evade. Oh, and seeing we did uh, defeat an enemy here, we will go ahead and place that here. Um, and I only have one action left. So if we do attempt to evade, let me take a look at what happens. We haven't evaded yet. I normally just punch stuff. Let's see, evade 11. Action investigator may take during his or her turn in the investigation phase to invade an in enemy engaged with the investigator. The investigator makes an agility test against their evade at value. Uh, evades the enemy, see below. The test fails. If an ability automatically evades one or more enemies, no skill attempt. Anytime an enemy is evaded, they are exhausted. Engagement is broken. Move the enemy from the investigator's threat area location. Unlike the fight and engage action, an investigator can only perform an invade action against an enemy engaged with them. That actually makes sense. So at least they would exhaust. Ooh. Hmm. Now, is there anything about exhausted enemies? Exhausted card cannot exhaust again until ready. All right, doesn't doesn't help me a ton because I would just want to try to figure out when the uh, enemy would try to hop back onto us. So, but otherwise he's gonna deal one one to us if we try to move somewhere. Part of me just wants to because I mean he he's only doing one damage. Not really anything I can do. If I evade, he's just going to come right back here. True. So do we... we just eat the damage and try to go elsewhere? So let's see. Yeah, because we're at four. We need two more. Oh, uh, how do we want to do this? Or I could try to give us something. No, not quite. Hmm. Because trying to... And evading him is hard because he doubles uh, anything we draw. And as I said, I think he would just hop right back on to us anyway, because I, I wouldn't have enough actions left to move. I do just kind of want to get out of here. Uh, we could... The only places I can go is north side or east town. And I'd prefer to get to the graveyard. Sometime in the near future. <laughs> What's this? Uh, so it's three to investigate here. Obviously, we'd get hit if we do that. Um, hmm. I could get the research librarian out to get us a tome into our hand and see if that helps at all. Get, get some more resources. Doesn't do a ton for us. Uh, cause we, we can easily get those two. This guy's just a little bit of a problem. Oh, uh, and also trying to get to downtown is a bit of a problem too. Um, because right now I can only do one damage to him. So we could go East Town and move down. But we'll be taking... We take damage instantly for it. And he's going to hit us again in the night. So... Hmm. All right, double check the uh, learn to play evade. Just because I'm not positive.
Evading enemies can be crucial to success. They do not automatically engage investigators. Do not perform attacks of opportunity. Do not attack. If you are unarmed or need to get away from a deadly enemy, consider. So when does the enemy come back into play? That's my only big question. Hunter enemies move, enemies attack. Each ready engaged enemy makes an attack. The enemy phase, the enemies come after the investigators. So do, oh, do they just not un... Each enemy in an investigator's threat area. Huh. Anytime a ready non-engaged enemy is at the same location as an investigator, it engages that investigator. If multiple investigators, same. God, this is... I don't know. I'm I'm a little lost on this one because it is ready all exhausted cards. So he wouldn't go during the enemy phase, which is good for us. But he becomes unexhausted during the upkeep. So I feel like we just need to move, take the hit, and take a second hit. Because then we can try to leave him somewhere else. Oh, two hits is rough though. All right. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna move to north side. He's gonna get a free attack off. So he deals one and one. Might as well keep one of these out. All right, the end of our turn. Yeah, this is flipped over. We'll pretend like it is. I can at least keep track of my own actions, which is nice. Uh, the monster will attack. We are at four and two uh, with a nine and five threshold, which is nice. We're actually doing all right on that front. Uh, the enemy phase is done. We go to our phase. So we'll ready everything back up that we have. We'll draw our card. We got another flashlight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on to us. Mythos phase. That's at four of eight and the encounter card revelation on wings of darkness. If you fail, take one damage, one horror, then in disengage from each non nightgown enemy engage with you and move to a central location. Ooh, I almost kind of want to fail this. This at least puts us at river town. Hmm. Oh, but I would rather leave him up here. <laughs> All right, so uh, we need to, we need to beat a four. Um, and I have two manual dexterities, which I cannot use at the same time. So that at least puts us at a four, as long as nothing else happens. And if this test is successful, we're drawing a card. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Four. Skull X as the highest number of doom on a cultist enemy in play, which is none. We actually passed this. But we don't move to the central location. And we draw our goats card. Maximum one per play. If test is successful, draw a card. So we stay where we are. We don't take any more damage. Play comes back to us, and we are going to try to evade this dude. So he's at two, three, four, five. We are going to try to run. Yeah, we do. Oh, we got to remember this tokens doubled. Five times two or uh, zero times two is uh, zero. We do successfully evade the uh, hunting night gaunt. He is exhausted. Uh, we are going to move Miskatonic for one. Uh, actually, that's going to be number two. We're going to move to Rivertown for... Th we moved to Rivertown for three. I wish we had a clue. We could actually... Actually, we could just stay here for a second action. Oh, and test is successful. We do draw a card. Oh, cover up. Cover up into play into your threat area with three clues on it. When you would discover one or more clues from your location, discard that many clues from cover up instead. When the game ends, if there are any clues on cover up, you suffer a mental trauma. Oh boy, ass. Ugh. 
Oh, that's really not good for us. Okay. Well, thanks, manual dexterity. You, uh, you really helped us out. But I could go. Oh, that could give me one, two, get three. Three, that'd put me at six to try to get this clue. Try to get rid of that. But here's the downside. When you would discover one or more clues from your location, discard that many clues to cover up instead. So I don't think trying to grab that's going to be helpful because we wanted to try to come down at Peter Warren to our victory display. That's not gonna happen because we need two clues to do it. Hmm. That's uh, a little unfortunate for us. Well, maybe we hold this second action we move to Miskatonic and let us move to Rivertown because I can't get to the graveyard direct. Ends our turn. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Uh, we go to the upkeep phase, everything gets re-readied, so he's awake and upset. Um, we get a resource and a card. Oh, discard all of your resources. Eh, we didn't. We didn't need those, did we? We probably did. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the bad stuff phase. Mythos, that gets five of eight. And our encounter, Wings of Darkness again. Oh, do I have anything to help me with this? I do not. I'm going to fail no matter what I do. Yep, a, a crit fail. So that's just, that's ironically funny to me. All right, so that's going to get us our fifth one of these, our third one of these. And we move to a central location, which is right back to right where we were, actually. So we're at three of five on this. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we are going to move to the graveyard. Get Herman Collins engaged with us. What's in the graveyard? Force, after you enter the graveyard, test. Uh, test. Uh, what's the name? Willpower. If you fail, you must either take two horror or return. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we definitely need to try to eat that. So here's guts. One, two, three, four, five. Need to be to three. Minus two. Thank goodness we played guts. So we do get to stay here. And we were successful, so let's draw a card. I got first aid back. One, two, three, four, five. And so we have moved for one. Oh, this also gets two clues. Has a shroud level of one. Now we can choose and discard four cards from your hand to add Herman Collins to our victory pile. Let's go one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hold our magnifying glass. One, two, three, four, discarded. You get added to our victory display. That was our second action. I think our third action. We are going to attempt to investigate the graveyard. It's right, right now, Peter Warren is our best shot. Uh, do I want to use the magnifying glass? You get plus one while investigating. There are no clues on your location. This gets returned to hand. It's a fast. Oh. I honestly think this just needs to sit here. Oh, I, I think I've been playing this a little wrong. Yeah, we will, uh, we'll just get our, because it's not an event, just an asset. So we get plus one while investigating. Oh, so my, my apologies. I've been playing magnifying glass, just, uh, just a hair wrong. So we're going to play it out, but it's fast, so it doesn't count against us. Uh, so it actually doesn't sit in our hand. So we get plus one while investigating. We are at a four. Uh, there is no doom, according to that one, at least on uh, Cultus and Me in play. 
So we are successful, but instead our cover up gets covered. So we moved for one. We have added Herman Collins for two and we investigated for three. That is going to end our phase. Enemies are going to move Hunter. Is moves one location towards the nearest uh, investigator at the end of every phase. He is going to go here. Yeah, because he can only go. Well, he can go to downtown. Try to get to us. Because then he can go. Yeah, this is one step. Ah, this is technically closer because he can go here to here, where this would go here to here to here. But I'll play fair. I'll play fair. All right, he moves there. No other enemies are going to move on this turn. We go to the upkeep phase. Reset all actions. We get this, and we actually get a card. Mind over matter. Fast play uh, only during your turn. Until the end of the round, you may use lore instead of uh, fist and or agility. Um, co Combat or agility. Oh, I'll get this right yet. That is going to do it for our stuff. We go to the other side. This is now at six of eight. We still have to get one more out. All right. And let's see what the encounter is. Face two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Oh, oh, that's really not good. That actually puts us at eight on the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. I cannot finish it on this turn because I there's no way for me to get clues and get over there to try to get him. And there's not another cultist on the board for us. Sadly, I may need to. Okay, so that finishes up the mythos phase. This alone, once we get back to it, is going to be enough to put us over. So we are going to take the resign action. Uh, you're taking too long with the investigation. You have, uh, so we head to safety with the information we've gathered. Because I think this is going to be better than just straight up losing outright. No. All right, let's see. Each investigator resigned or was defeated. Read resolution one. We managed to obtain some useful information about the cult and its plans. In your campaign log, under cultists we interrogated, record the name of each unique cultist enemy in the victory display. Okay, let's get this. We've got Herman Collins, Wolfman, Drew, Wizard of the Order. One, two, three, four, five, Mass Hunter. And the Acolyte. Okay. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Okay. Cultists you got away, each unique enemy still remaining in the cultist deck or in play. If it is agenda one. Ooh. For the mass hunter here as well. Oh, oh, if we were on agenda one. Okay. But we're not there. So now we need to do. And of course, I uh, do that immediately. Uh, Ruth Turner, Doria, Devril, and Peter Warren. All right, I'm going to try to avoid touching that again if I can help it. Uh, if the ghoul priest is still in the victory or is in the dis, uh, victory display, cross that out. No, nope, not a problem. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. So that's going to give us one, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven. Uh, we are at seven on the uh, victory display. But yeah, you managed to obtain useful information about the cult and its plans. You hope it's enough. So uh, it's definitely a setup for uh, the last one. Uh, definitely how I'm feeling about this one. Sadly, we do need to take mental trauma. So, because uh, our cover-up, the game ends if there's any clues on the cover-up, you suffer one mental trauma. Let's go one mental. I haven't marked anything else because the end of last round, everything was pretty clean with the uh, exception of we had one unspent experience. So we have eight experience uh, that we get to play with in this game uh, going into the next, which uh, that'll help us out. So, um, hey, thank you for making it to the end of another episode of Tom Tries Arkham Horror, the card game. Oh, this, was, uh, this was a tough one. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.